Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to a solo leveling episode 8. Now, I hope you all are doing well. It's been a little while since the last solo leveling episode, just because, as you guys may or may not know, last week we had like a recap episode. And me personally, I wasn't too mad at the fact that they wanted to take a quick week break, just because I feel like they ended at such a good part. Like, last episode felt like a season finale worthy episode so without any further ado if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like while you're down there don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you know whenever i drop a solo leveling video and if you head on over to the patreon and join the two dollar tier then you'll get access to all of my uncut reactions including this series right here but with that all out of the way let's finally get into this all right looks like we're in the hospital See, now, let me know. Maybe this is just me. But I feel like this elixir of life seems too good to be true. But what if there's some kind of sick twist behind it? Kind of like the Philosopher's Stone in uh, Fullmetal Alchemist. It's time, I'm telling you. That solo leveling training arc, it's about to begin. This is where he really climbs because he's only like, what, level 18, right? I'm sure from here, he's just going to skyrocket through the levels. Oh yeah, he was considering it. While he was uh, running with his sister, he like brought it up to her. Like, what would she do with the billion? I forget what their currency is, but... A billion. A billy. Just the two of us. Mm-hmm.Unscathed in 19 consecutive missions. That would be kind of a flex. Hey, calm down, calm down. We're in the middle of a cafe, brother. Oh, we've seen this girl, right? She was the one that was walking down the street and like did the flip over that guy. I remember her. Oh, this music though. It sounds too intense for this situation. She's just sitting down drinking water, and this sounds like a freaking boss battle. Yoon Biom Gil. Guessing this is Daddy O. Makes sense. You get a pretty valuable resource from it. And that resource definitely affects all these different areas. Yeah. And so now we're getting in we're getting a look inside of his head as to why he wants to make a guild. White Tiger Guild, that's the one that has a bunch of S ranks, right? Dang, those logos are kind of heat. He has to get stronger. But can he? Because he doesn't have the luxury Jin Wu has where he can just climb levels. I'm sure you can train. Like, okay, so this is one thing, one question I guess I have. Because we all know that... It is immediately determined. As soon as you walk in that room and touch the orb, it lets you know if you're going to be S rank, A rank, C rank. But within each of these ranks, there's got to be, like, some variance, right? Like, a newbie A rank compared to a, like, veteran A rank. There's got to be a clear gap in skill between them, right? Or is it just, like, 
all of the A ranks are relatively close. All of the B ranks are relatively close. And then maybe S ranks, since that's the highest one, that one has variants. Since you literally can't go higher than S. So the strongest hunter in the entire guild is probably going to be significantly stronger than a newbie S rank that just got hired yesterday or something. Makes sense. That'd be OP. If he could keep farming this quest over and over. Loot box. My man's a gotcha gamer. What? Did he get a finished bingo board? Hey, cash that in real quick. <laughs> Oh my god, no way, no way, he's gonna actually do it. Is he gonna intentionally fail and farm the penalties? <laughs> he's at that point now, where if he gets a penalty, we don't know if it's gonna be the same one every time, but if it is that same one, he might be at the point now where he can take it on. And then he's probably gonna keep doing that in order to grind levels. Yeah, that makes sense, because that thing does seem like, you know, A rank, S rank level monster. So correct me if I'm wrong, but his plan is to still play it safe, not show off his skills, and instead team up with other capable hunters so that they can take care of these quests without him having to give away how strong he actually is. Interesting. I wouldn't blame him. I wouldn't blame him. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, and he made it out. He made it to his family. Dang, it's hard to be mad at him now. He had a little girl waiting for him back at home, man. Even though he almost left everybody else for dead. You know, it would, it would have been pretty sad to see his family if he wouldn't have made it and if he would have stayed and died instead alright looks like he hasn't given up hmm. <laughs> this is so wholesome man Oh, we know what this is. Oh, never mind. I thought they were going to talk about the event where the, the guys died. The ones that Jin Wu killed. Dang. She just needs some time, man. She just needs some time. To figure out where she wants to go from here. So it's interesting. Is it contacting everyone from that original mission? There weren't too many survivors from there. But I think it's interesting that all of them got one. Oh, interesting. So they already went for the some of the top brass. Did I use that right? One of the top dogs. I know I used that right. 
その場でお断りしましたあなたはジェジュ島についてどう思っていますか Is that the insect island? ジェジュ島どうってのは何がだあの島のことはあそこで起こったことを忘れたことはありません、mm. 僕はいずれ遠くない未来に再びあの島の攻略を目指します Conquer that island again I mean Technically, we didn't see the ending of what happened during that fight. So maybe there was something big that, like, left him scarred. Mm. Oh, it was that island! Whoa. His allies. It looked like things were going so well, though, when we saw it in the beginning. Like they were going crazy. I mean, he's got everything he needs on him. He has a freaking mobile shop that he can just call at will. He doesn't really need to pack much. I wonder what their expression or uh, what their reaction is going to be once they see each other. For the first time in who knows how long. Here we go. First reaction. He's grown. Yes, sir. Oh, good question. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Surely. Yeah, everybody's here. Wait, who's the big guy? I don't remember him. Jinwoo and Juhi. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe I do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let me see if I can remember. Uh. Dang, there was somebody that was really badly injured, right? I think maybe it was Jin Woo. Yeah, yeah, because didn't Jin Woo get his legs crushed earlier on in the dungeon? So I think he helped carry Jin Woo over there, and then he, le he left last second. The guy with the bandana. I was trying to remember. Uh, his role that he played here. Well, now we know that girl died. The girl that left the circle right away? Here he is, man of the hour. Wait, no! Who the heck is this? I thought it was the guy with the armor. Oh, they're sending inmates? Oh, this guy. He looks like the real deal, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he looks like a, a future antagonist. Oh, okay, fair. But what if one of them just doesn't care, man? What if he's actually just... A serial killer. Okay, fair, fair. Oh, so now this is kind of like, um, it's like Hell's Paradise, how they sent the prisoners to the island, and they sent the, um, executioners to make sure they didn't do anything out of line. There we go. I like that fire, Juhi. Dang! Oh my god! <laughs> what are they trapped in a box this whole time? Oh, I was gonna say, you gotta make it the OG leader. Oh man, it's not your fault, dude. It was a group vote. This is gonna be sick, I can already tell. Dang, I can't wait, man. Next episode, I feel like things are really gonna pick up. Plus, we know we have um 
that guy's brother that's making his way over here. I think he's in America, and he's making his way over to Japan to try to hunt down Jin Woo and the other guy. So, speaking of, where is the other guy? I thought we were supposed to do these 19 dungeons together. Maybe he's uh, rain checking for this one. Alright, so that was the end of the episode, and my question of the day for you guys is going to be, how do you guys feel now that it's been a little bit of time and we got to see him actually spend time with his family? How do you guys feel about the, the guy with the black hair? I don't remember his name, but I remember when we were in the dungeon, we like needed his help in order to accomplish the, I guess, ritual or task or whatever that the statue was giving us. And he ended up ditching and kind of leaving us for dead. And his excuse was, you know, he had a family to get back to. So how do you guys feel about his decision? And how do you feel about him now, now that you've seen what he potentially would have left behind if he did stay there and if he did die? But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And with that, I'm going to head out. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.